Hey there, everybody, and this is Jacob, Unforgiving. Sorry for the timing. Sorry it took me so long to get back, well, to my few viewers, if I still even have them. Nonetheless, uh, I've been through quite a bit in the past few months. I lost my computer. I... My Elgato broke, that that happened too, which sucked, my Elgato broke. Yeah, and it was funny too, what happened was, <clears throat> and I quote, I wake up one morning, I walk into my living room, I see my cat on top of my Xbox One, and I'm thinking, no sir, you cannot be on my Xbox One. So I swat at him in the air, you know, yeah, get off, and then he jumps on top of my Elgato. Lo and behold, doesn't work anymore. Fuck that cat. <laughs> Man, God, I hated him for a little while. A little while, trust me. I'm not abusing my cat, no, no. I'm... Maybe I am. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyway, welcome to Let's Play Darkwood. And I know this game has been out for a while. I just haven't even known its existence until now, and it really does seem like something I'd like to play. I'm particularly not keen on the indie scene, though I primarily play indie games for very good reason. AAA games are very hard to deal with on YouTube. I mean, I've barely had to deal with it because the only AAA game I've played is uh, Alien Isolation, which I look to finish. Hopefully I can, like, get my save back or something from Steam, or like Steam remembers it. If not, then I'm gonna have to start all over and you're gonna have to wait until I get back to where I last was. So that's gonna suck. But aside from that, I do look into continu- I'm gonna look into continuing that series. For the most part, sh start a couple new things, be fresh, see where it takes us. So let's start a new game, Permadeath. I'm gonna turn Permadeath on because I am a masochist <laughs> I love Project Zomboid and I'm gonna love this so we're gonna do that permadeath is on besides like in this patch from like looking at patch notes current patch there's nowhere there's nothing really beyond chapter one and the game's hard enough so you might as well start all over whenever you die you know Generating world. This might take a few minutes. Oh, I didn't consider that. Yeah, people did complain about the loading screens. Hmm. Well, I'll give this a minute. Nah. Probably gonna have to cut to the vid cut the video. Well, actually I could take this chance to explain my situation a bit more. Well, my computer is completely one hundred and ten percent. Uh, better. In fact, it's more than better. It's fantastic. Uh, I have a wireless mic now, so I don't have to deal with the cord. Not gonna fidge my mic around. Not gonna do the pop pop pops. Ha! <laughs> did it to you there. Not there's gonna be no more puffs and pops and scruffles. I uh, well, I'm using uh open broadcast software and if you look into going on YouTube I highly recommend this because I've been playing around with it for the past couple days that I had my computer back and to be quite honest this software is fan fucking tastic at first it's a bit intimidating because it looks weird but when you actually get it all going man man oh man does it work barely any problems so far playing around with it, and I actually uh, looked at Alien Isolation as good as I can get it on my computer, and it barely even broke a sweat. And that's saying something since I used Bandicam before, and I had to pay for Bandicam. Screw Bandicam. Don't trust it. I mean, it's decent, but, mm. <clears throat> it's decent, but nowhere near what open broadcast software is capable of doing on 
a no like on being free on top of being free like no budget required I'd say the best recording software t still is Elgato when it comes down to it only because like I guess because you can't really use it on your computer for your computer games doesn't count but as something that you can use for your Xbox One and stuff Elgato is perfecto oh here we go Even when I'm asleep, I can't stop seeing their faces. Oh yeah, this is a horror game. Just so you know, this is a horror game. Look at me with trust. Like I can heal them, save them from the spreading plague. Like I could stop the process with process which destroys their land and rots their bodies and minds. There is no way out of here. I am stuck with them. With their unending calling, pleading cries and muttered prayers. interesting graphics I saw a bit of it it, it looked worse than it like it w looked worse when I was watching videos now that it's in front of me on my beast of a computer it's far better uh, open there we go yeah okay so yeah you hang on to it that yeah I watched uh Falcon play it before I Yippie Kaye Fal Mr. Falcon I think was his YouTube channel. Yeah, I watched him play it a bit before I uh played this. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, over here like like here to the right. I see it now. That's kind of a creepy face. <laughs> that is actually a bit unnerving. White noise style shit right there. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. Oh, okay, I'll pick this up. Oh, it's a radio. There has been radio silence for years, although sometimes I can hear their voices among the noise. Oh, okay. Be weird like that. Oh, okay, I gotta lockpick that. Oh, shift is a run! I was looking for the run button. Okay. Alright, examine. Whatever. What am I supposed to- Okay, wardrobe. Okay. Yeah, I knew that hanging on to shift and clicking will grab the whole stack. From the, like, three min- like, the, the more like two minutes I gave, uh, Yippie Kaye, Mr. Falcon, or whatever his channel's called. He's a good- he's a good YouTuber, as far as I can tell. I like him. What's that? Oh! Hi, doggy. What happened to you? Looks like someone like ate your intestines while you're alive. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. I <laughs> should Oh dang straight he's not gonna make it, dude. Look at that. Look at that, man. He's looks like is that his rib cage sticking out? I mean like there should be a lot eh, actually it's more of a realistic amount of blood if you think about it. How do how does he jump again? Space. Oh, he set it up there. Yeah. Dirt. Ooh, yes, an axe. Ha <laughs> ha Oh yeah. Uh Okay. Actually, I'm going to go end the dog suffering. It's probably for the best that I do this. Okay, how do I attack? Uh, 
All right, I was thinking Zomboid for a second there, and it seemed to work out. <laughs> that was not making my ears happy at all. My ears, my poor ears. No, the poor puppy. Poor puppy. <laughs> That is so fucked up when you think about it. He essentially just got destroyed by his own master. Like that was a, that looked like an obliteration strike, if you ask me. Huh? It's nothing to see here. Just just a dead cow infused with the earth. That's nothing disturbing. I've seen worse. I've played Alien Isolation. You can't scare me, game, with your top-down perspective. Am I going the right way? It doesn't look like it. Oh look, another corpse infused into the ground. Yeah, yeah. Alright, thank you. I already discovered that on my own. Thank you very much. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Well, if I clicked tab... Okay. Craft that then. And then I think here, here. Press two button and oh okay. There we go. See? I'm smart people. I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. I got this. I got this. Have a little more faith in me. Come on. Haven't I proved to you time and time again how smart I am? Not really. <laughs> See, even there, I just walk into a dead end. No, I have not proved my intelligence whatsoever. If anything, I proved I'm stupid. <laughs> Playing these kinds of games. Uh. All right, is this another dead end? No. Oh, that's not disturbing. This one's actually infusing with a tree. A few days, it will be completely absorbed. Ground. Oh, okay. It's like a a man elk thing infusing with the ground. Okay, it's like the uh, the Jersey Devil up in here. Yeah, that's right, the Jersey Devil. I maybe down here. Actually, there's something down here to check out. No, no, the growth. I'm going to assume I can't venture down this way. Yeah, growth should have been a sign. I guess I was just right the first time coming this way. How about up here? Oh, I'm in water. Weird. Let's stay out of the water. I don't trust anything. You think? Oh, okay, you think this one's still alive. I was confused for a second backing up into that. All right. He's unconscious. The little rat didn't make it into his hole. Ooh, okay, that's called cool. random schmoes rats. If he's got the key, he must know where the door is. Only pests like him know how to get out of these woods. Of course, he won't willingly tell me anything. But this, however. doesn't really matter. Oh, are you gonna put that in his eye? That is weird. Why didn't you, like, you, there's veins and you could just, uh, fuck, just stick it in his skin. Stick it, st stick it in his ass cheek. Don't stick it in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's irreparable fucking brain damage, irreparable eye damage too. I mean, what the fuck, man? You you want to fuck a guy up for life? You stab a fucking syringe in his eye. That's for sure. All right, can't open that. Whatever. Oh, okay. Like, 
can't dismantle. I can only dismantle barricades which I have created myself. Oh, okay, and that's just dragging a stool. Then what do I do? Do I have a uh, crafting menu? I guess. Oh, okay. Ban I'll craft a lockpick and a bandage then. Those look like my guys. Pretty damaged over here. So, uh. Guess do that, and then. How do I use? Oh, okay. Use bandages. There we go. Oh, no. Dear God, what am I doing? Okay, let's 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 get this let's get this right this time. Oh, I just had to Oh my god. Doi. Hang on to the right stick, but the right click button, whatever. Don't don't judge me, guys. Did I just Oh my god. Uh There I was patting myself on the back for how smart I was when in reality I'm no more than a big dum dum. That you all think I am. Okay, there we go. That makes sense. Flashlight? Okay. And a shovel. That makes sense. And I guess I can use the shovel to break into the... Uh, I, I missed completely. Hopefully I'm actually hitting the damn door. Wouldn't that suck? Game over, guys. I didn't hit the door. Shovel. What the f I didn't even register he was there for a second and oh my god that that actually got me game. That that actually got me. Good good for you game. Good for you. How about in here? Oh, hi. Uh no, no one's here. I don't want to mess with you. Alright, um... How about let's search this? Nothing. Actually, it does look like there's another room over there. What the fuck in hell was that shrieking bitch? Hey, bitch, I already dealt with the fucking witches from Left 4 Dead. I don't need to deal with you either. Get your s Grab your sass and take it somewhere else. I don't want to deal with it. Don't want to deal with your sass. Okay. The figure on the bed is wearing a worn coat and a weathered hat. His eyes are fixed on the hilt of the scalpel stuck in his forehead. Warm wax drips from the wound onto the metal surface. I don't recognize his face, but I know who he is. Yeah, dude, you know who he is. That That's you. <laughs> he looks pretty much damn I near identical to you, man. Not to freak you out or anything, but... You might want to get your head examined. Because... Oh, okay. Makulask. Uh, Malkusk. Mas no, Makuski. Mas uh, whatever. I'm not even gonna try. Don't judge me. Okay. Let's grab that, that, and that. And grab that, too, I guess. Can I make anything now? Plank with nails. Crude weapon. Don't expect it to last forever. You know what? Whatever. A weapon is fine, since this... You know, you can drop... I'll even drop the shovel, because, you know broken. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, the generator is turned off, yet I can hear a faint metallic sound of an engine. As I reach my hand towards the power switch, I suddenly hear a voice, gasoline, gasoline. Suddenly the voice turns into a rumble. What are you looking at? Get me some booze. Did, did, did I just get talked down to by a generator more moreover did the generator act like he was addicted to gasoline like a drunk I and I'm not even gonna try anymore that's uh, that's hurting my brain okay like do I oh okay and then you hang on to it all right well, I didn't feel the generator, but... Yay, there's your gasoline, bud. Don't be so rude to me next time, punk. 
That's right. I called you out on that. Alright, so now I think I'm ready to check out you, bud. Oh, I need another lockpick. Alright, I can arrange that. No, I cannot. Uh, I think I may be screwed now. What the, well, how do I make another lockpick? Was there something I can use in here? Search the table? No? Is there something I missed? In here? Or something I missed over here? I mean, what did I do wrong? Maybe there was something I searched over here, like on a chair or something. Maybe, oh, the cages. Maybe the cages have... No, like, the cages don't have shit. They don't have shit for shit. Oh, there is this room here. But I can't enter it. Alright. Oh, oh, fucking me. Fuck me. Help me. Come. No, you come to me. I'm gonna just have my weapon out and you can come to me. That I think that sounds fair. No, uh, I'll come to you. I'll just fidget closely. And if you try anything, I'm gonna just swack you right in the gut. Uh, right, just pow, right in the kisser, right in the gaba. Oh, see, motherfucker, I, you tried. You did this to yourself, motherfucker. You came up on me, all oh, hell. You came up on me, man. You came up on me. You did it to yourself. Hey, hey, hey. And how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Uh. Okay, what's the sound? That's <laughs> actually just heard. Can you hear it? Uh. God. Ah! <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. No. What the fuck? No. Oh my god! <laughs> oh well, that happened. Rise and shine. God, that rattled my nerves. I almost threw my headset right- I went to run from whatever the fuck was, like, coming down on my head. It was like the world was ending, like, or like, the cloud from fucking, uh, House on a Haunted Hill remake <laughs> came after me or something creepy like that. God! And then I run, and then I ran into something, and, uh, you don't need my narrating on it. You saw. You saw, and it made me want to throw the headset right off my head. Wolfman talk. Okay, well, we'll do that next episode, guys. Man, I think I'm going to play this quite a bit. Because <laughs> that actually got me. That actually got me more than Alien Isolation has so far. And it's saying something, because that game actually rattled my nerves quite a bit. <laughs> that was just a tutorial, and that just made me want to... That made me more terrified than everything I've been through in Alien Isolation so far. That is actually quite amazing. That actually comes down to uh, my favorite thing about horror games, the sound. So you like, let's listen to this ambience. That's just all it takes, just perfect sound, and you just, you can fuck anyone up with it. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. Stop with the praise, because I'm bad at it, and I go on forever. If you like the, if you like seeing me get terrified like that, then you keep watching, because I'm going to keep playing, that's for sure. Alright, until next time, guys.